Claire from Diamond Painting Nerd. Welcome to an unboxing video. So, the guys at GBFK um, reached out to me again and asked if I wanted um, to pick out some more products for um, a review. And um, I thought they were really um, a really great company and their products were really great last time I worked with them. So, I said yes, I went ahead. Now, I just wanted to update you because on the last video i showed you from gbfk i showed you that i ordered um this i did a little um put together of, of a kit but the latch was broken so they've actually replaced it and sent me a new one that fully functions and works with the latch so they've they have replaced that item um and they've also replaced there was a missing item from the bag as well now the item that was missing was um a little storage um box like one one with the 28 pots they don't do those anymore on that specific one so what they've done is they've actually just picked out um another one that's very similar um and sent that one to me um this is going to be great for they're not very deep these pots um this will be great for specials projects so i'm glad to have that so those are the replacement items so thank you to them for sending those through and then i picked two paintings so let's pop one to one side and we'll take a look at we'll take a look at them okay so uh let's move everything out of the way and take a look at the canvas this one is stunning i loved it when i saw this one so this isn't all going to be in shot but i will pull the canvas up in just a second this is a 40 by 55. Um, I'll grab my tape measure. I tell you what, let's do a little measurement across whilst I've got it here. So this is a, oh, it's bigger than that. It's 40, 40 and three quarters. And then let's measure it this way. So it's, it's posted at 55 and it's 56. So actually, it's probably the first time I've had one that's, quite drastically bigger than um than advertised but yeah 40 i can't remember what i said now 40 and three quarters by 56 so it is and that is the picture size that's not even the canvas size the canvas size is much bigger so we have this rainbow angel and if the uh, i just hope the um the um rendering that's the word i'm looking for i just hope the rendering is going to come out on this one so this is ah uh, okay so i'm someone said this in a video the other day and i wondered what they were on about so i just had a look and here at the top and here on the side there's kind of like a random um arrow now is that arrow i can't imagine that that arrow exists on the legend no it doesn't Okay, so um, I think these are, this has come from a cross stitch pattern and these are the cross stitch pattern markers. So I think what I'm going to have to do is they've not been taken out. Um, I think I'm just going to have to um, make it up. It looks like it's um, the letter H most of the way around anyway, so I'll probably just replace it with those. But yeah, I, ha I haven't seen it on any paintings so far, um, so that's interesting, but it's not a problem. Um, so yes, this is the painting. So 40 by 55. And I'm gonna let's pull this plastic back, see if I can get some of these see if I can get some of these wrinkles out. I'm get it laying a little flatter, it's easier than when I actually start working on it. There we go. And we'll do so to the top. And then we'll take a look at the grills and see what comes in the tool kit. There we go. Got most of most of them out. And it really does help the canvas to lie a lot flatter as well. So let's pop. Let's pop that one there in shot so you can see it. Okay, so let's just check the stick on the yeah no issue with that at all nice good stick so in the toolkit um, i think this is pretty standard from them 
you get a tray, tweezers, you get a glittery pen with a four and a seven multi-placer and they are the new thinner profile multi-placers as well they're the thinner ones which is great um and then two um two pads of wax in there as well and then here are the drills so these are in um let's get them out they are individually packed which is my preference i find it much easier for picking up and i can't remember if there are any special drills i'm not sure there are actually i can't remember no i think these are just all standard i don't think there's any a oh there, there is a b in this okay that's okay so we've got a big bag of uh 939 that's going to be a lot of the background i would have thought uh 29h yes so that's going to be most of the background so it looks printed black around the background but it's actually 939 so let's have a look then at what a b drills we've got in this and this is a square kit i think there's just then this is why i wasn't sure there's two just two in this one but yeah i can see a big bag of um i can see a big bag a biggish bag of one of them so there are obviously a lot of rainbow colors as you would expect with um the rainbow effect coming out the as the tail let's say it's the tail of the angel um so you can see all of those rainbow colors there oh no hang on that is an ab there let me just double check i haven't missed any yes yeah, so i think the rest of these are just all standard uh standard square drills they are i would imagine that they are acrylic but, oh, I see a dimple in the bottom. Yes, these are acrylic drills. So let's take a look. I'm going to pop these back in the bag. It doesn't look to be, <clears throat> they don't look to be too bad, to be fair. They don't, there doesn't appear to be any trash in them, but I can see. And they all look very clean. Well. Nope. They don't look very staticky, which is all really good positive points. But we've got three ABs here. So we have AB961. Uh, and I love the fact that they use the DMC code so I can file them by DMC order. Then we've got 823 and we've got 550. Um, I think I've got tons of these 550 because they seem to be appearing across a lot of kits. Um, the budget friendly kits seem to be um, using the 550 quite a bit. Um, so let's have a quick look at where these are going to go because I don't think I did that in um, a couple of my last ones. So oh, we've got a little, oh, we've got a couple of hitchhikers in there. We've got a couple of green and a white in there, but that's okay. When I kit up uh, or when I pull them in the tray, then I'll um, I'll tend to fish those out anyway. So thirty one is H or oh, the little H. So I can already see some of those in and around the um the wings around here so that's going to give a lovely um pop that ab color there then we've got 12 which is o and ah, uh, okay so that's going to come out further into the wings uh this way so uh, and then across here and then quite a bit down here oh okay yeah all the way down here by the looks of things and then we have um, 83, so 23 is A. <coughs> Let's just see where that's going to be going. Um, it's not a huge bag of it, so I don't think it's going to be massively obvious. Oh, okay, so those are on the outside, just the tips all the way around here, around here. So yeah, all of the ABs are going to be in the wings. I think this is going to be absolutely stunning when it's done. So that is kit number one. So let me just pop those drills, pop those drills back in and move this out of the way and we'll take a look at the second one. Okay, and then here's the second one that I chose. So let's get this one out of the packet two. Move the rustles out of the way. So, <coughs> excuse me. I think this one is. I think this, this one is the same. Is it the same size? Oh, this one's no. This one's a fifty by forty. Let me just turn the canvas around. 
and I love this one. My sister loves anything um, kind of space themed and I thought I would do this one and put it in a frame for her. Um, I hope she's not watching this video. I don't think she watches my channel. Um, <clears throat> so, this one here and I'm just going to pull that back and again just give it a little flatten so just to help get those creases out for when I come to work on this painting and it looks like because we've got the same again we've got that arrow there and there so again I'll just have to replace that with um a drill but again because it's just the background bit that's not that's not going to be a problem but yeah just something to be mindful of if you haven't I haven't seen it up until now if you haven't seen that before so yes we have this one here so let's check yeah the stick on it is perfectly fine so I'm gonna have no issue with that at all um oh sorry I didn't say in the last one there are um or did I is it 40 colors Yeah, the last one is 40 colours. There's 35 in this one, which I think is actually quite a lot looking at the painting because it's a lot of um, blues, purples and pinks into black. Um, I think black or maybe um, <coughs> maybe dark blue. But we'll have a look at the drills. And then we have the same toolkit again um, as the last kit. And then here are the drills again individually packed i like the fact that the canvas number is already labeled on the bag so i store my canvases in one place and my drills in another place and then i just match them up using the uh the canvas number so that's already done for me and also it's got the size so if i'm looking for a 40 by 50 i'll know that's in my portfolio bag um, and so i know that's where to go to go and get it if it's anything bigger than that then um it's on somewhere else okay look at these colors i said there was going to be a lot of uh, a lot of pinks and purples and there are so there are ab's in this again so i'm just going to grab out those ab's and we'll take a look um, at what colors we have this time and where they are going to go that's three ab's i found is it three ab's in this one again i think it might be yeah, everything else looks standard. There's no problem. Oh, no, no, no. Four ABs, sorry. Four ABs. Uh, there's no problem with you adding more in if you want as well. So if you've got extra ABs in your stash, then why not? Right, yes. So these are all then the standard drills. We've got a big bag um, of 939, a big bag of 823, and a big bag of 820. So, and a big bag is 797. So that's going to give us our blue shading. And I hope this that's going to give us the sky, the shading in the sky. And I hope, looking at this one and the other one, I think the um, if the, the rendering's done right, this is going to look incredible. Uh, 158, sorry, we've got another little um, semi-shade in between that as well. And then we've got um, 796, which goes before that. And then we've got, um, then we've got 798, three, uh, 383, and we've got 791 as well. So all of these blues are going to make up that sky, which is just going to look incredible with that mix of blues. And then we've got a lot of purples. So quite a few different um, purple tones, some pink tones in here. It's going to make, it's going to make all of this. Um, sky just oh oh I can't wait to do this one okay so let's take a look at the ABs then I'm going to shove all of these back in here square kit if I didn't say shove all of those back in there for the minute whilst we take a look at the ABs so we have four ABs in um, this kit they are all purples so we have first up of course we've got a 550 very very popular in a lot of the um kits so we'll have a look at those then we've got um 208 and we've got 333 and we've got 209 so we'll go with um let's have a look at them in this order so number four 
is C. And I've already can see some of that is in and around uh, this, uh, the ring of the planet. And then we've got five, which is T. That's also, yep, that's also in there as well. So that is surrounding, that's going to be in and around the, um, <coughs> excuse me, the ring of that planet. There's also, did I see, yeah, there's some more down here as well into this sky. And then we have G, which is the 550. Let's see where that's going to be going. Is that coming further down? Uh, okay, yeah, so we've got a lot of the G. So this, the 550 kind of bleeds into the darker areas at the bottom so this is going to be all of the 939 and the 823 at the bottom but then you've got the 550 which then um kind of comes into this bit as well um and have we got the same at the top no oh we have so we've got a bit of the um that purple ab creeping in there a bit creeping in here as well so just the odd little scattering here and there of that purple ab and then we've got uh, number eight, which is P. Um, I can see just a few odd bits here and there of that P. And, oh, okay, and then it's here. And that is going out. It's also joining up with this ring. And there's also some here. And then quite a big smattering of it in, the, in this area here as well. So all of this is going to be that. Um, light uh no this purple a b so yes the a b seems spread throughout a lot of it is concentrated kind of in this area where i'd hope it would be um but there are some pockets of it coming off into the sky as well which i think is going to look beautiful so yeah four purple a b's in this one so that should be fun and exciting to to do so thank you very much to gbfke for sending me um the paintings along with sending the replacement items for those items that were damaged so thank you so much for that um if you've enjoyed today's unboxing video as always i'd appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new hit the bell so you are notified when i next um, upload a video drop me any comments in the comment section down below and i will see you all again in oh don't forget to check the description box for any um links and discount codes for this website also um but yes i will see you all again in my next video Video. Bye guys.